Solana's Phantom Wallet now allows you to burn unwanted NFTs. Last year I made a video on how to transfer unwanted NFTs that were scams to an alternate wallet and with this new feature things got way easier. Um, and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and burn an unwanted NFT. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you like the content. You are now listening to Crypto Files. So the team over at Phantom recognizes that the large amount of crypto scams out in the wild, wild west space of crypto um, have been emerging a lot in the last year and they've decided to do something about it. So how do scammers take advantage of airdropping fake NFTs to end users? Well, it goes something like this. Users that are targeted are airdropped an NFT. You know, you usually go open up your phantom wallet and you notice something a bit different. A new NFT, one that uh, pretty much promises a free gift or a free NFT. And we'll call these spam and scam NFTs. So these scam NFTs promise a user a free gift. And all they got to do is click on a link in the NFT's description, which then redirects the user to a site that they can go ahead and quote unquote claim their free NFT gift. Once they approve the transaction, they don't receive anything and their wallets are emptied. Bam, that's how they get you the old switcheroo. It's a combination of a phishing scam, but because people don't know what they're approving, they approve smart contract code that has been written to empty wallets. Let me show you how to burn an NFT and how you can avoid this old school scam. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click on the Phantom Wallet extension. I'm gonna navigate to my collectibles and you can see I have two NFTs. One is my cool Soul Doge from back in the day and this official Solana NFT that really doesn't have anything um, as an NFT picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it looks like I have two of them. Up on the top right hand corner, there are three dots. So I'm gonna click on the three dots, which is an ellipsis. And then I have the option to burn the tokens. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn the tokens. This is the burn token screen. And I'm gonna click on, I understand this cannot be undone and burn these tokens. It's burning the tokens now, and I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And it's showing that they're, they're, they went ahead and burned those NFTs. Okay, and that is it. That's how you burn those tokens. Um, what ends up happening is after you burn the tokens, um, the token is permanently removed from the wallet and you receive a small deposit. We saw that small deposit. Um, that serves as the quote unquote rent used to pay for the storage. And this also builds what's called the block list. And that's a list of spam and phishing NFTs that have been um, you know, burned and Phantom is taking note of those. Um, they already have over 800 plus mint addresses of malicious NFT collections and they're working on creating a phishing warning system. So a lot of good stuff coming from the Phantom wallet. I wanted to keep this video short and just show you how you can prevent from being a victim and burning those scammy NFTs. Let me know if you guys like the video, hit the like button and subscribe until next time. Oh yeah, and XRP's pumping. It is currently at 53 cents. Let's go, baby.